Ladies and gentlemen, what you are about to witness is the last known footage of a mythical creature commonly known as Dr. Killiam Lucifer Bosby Jr. III EDD. It was found on an Edison cylinder frozen in an iceberg off the coast of Antarctica, and carbon dating reveals it to be over 70,000 years old. Laboratory animals exposed to this footage have exhibited symptoms of cardiac arrest, leprosy, COVID-1999, and occasional spontaneous combustion. The management is not responsible for any phone calls you may receive from an ominous voice whispering seven days. This is Kill Bosby, the complete saga. Good luck, recruits, and may God have mercy on us all. Salutations, citizens of the space-time continuum. My name is Kill Bosby, and welcome to my brand new blooper show, Jerks yeah. Derp the Dumbest Derps. <laughs> I found all the following footage on a VHS tape I fished out of my most recent bowel movement. I invented the term blooper back in the 1850s because I make most of my money inventing words. Words like soup and hooba zooba doob foob loob and of course the holocaust. Now shut up and watch the stupid rectangle! So after I made Ghost Dad, I made Ghost Dad 2, Ghost Daddier, and of course Ghost Dad 3, Ghost Baby. That was the one with the wacky abortion scene that won an Oscar for best scene where the pregnant Ghost Dad yells at Dr. Huxtable, I specifically requested a wacky abortion. <laughs> Most of my work in feature films has been uncredited. You ever seen Old Yeller? That was me as the dog. I wore a dog suit and I played Old Yeller and then they shot me with the boom boom. But you know, I think the best episode of the Bosby Mysteries was when the mystery was who ate all the jello. Spoiler alert, it was me. <laughs> So I knocked on the door, knocking and knocking and knocking and knocking and knock knock, and who should answer but Osama bin Laden himself? And I said, hey motherfucker, can I explode you? He says, okay, and then I did. Then I went down the street for a snow cone, and when I came back, a bunch of fucking circus seals were taking all the credit with a knife! <laughs> Claire, why are you fucking around with time traveling dinosaurs? Get your butt back in the kitchen and make me some more delicious children with a knife! <laughs> That's when I decided to turn my children into a human centipede. I feed them a special brand of new Coke flavored jello and it comes out the other side as a live deer. You know the night time now is the right time. Apparently, I'm not legally retarded, I am illegally retarded, but I'm still not 100% sure I qualify as black. Did you know I was once gang raped by the Rugrats? I'll do it, I swear I'm gonna do it. I will jump out the fucking window while dressed as Napoleon. I, you people have driven me to this. You all have blood on your head. Okay. And now I believe my work on this planet is complete. Up, up, and away! <laughs> Goodbye, earthly maggots! I am the Alpha God! You're all primitive infidels! And, oh, goddamn. Ah, oh, there it goes. And now, ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Phil Collins! Here are things. It's Kill Busby's Talentatious Cavalcade with your host, Kill Busby. Thank you very much. This is Kill Busby in my true form, but I don't have a person mask on because these people are the final solution. They're all going to be your masters and you're going to be slaves. Next up, we have the greatest person alive straight from another dimension is Tony Wiseau. <laughs> oh, hi, alternate universe. My name is Tony Wiseau. In your alternate universe, my brother Tommy was the director of the room. In my alternate universe, I ate him in the womb. In your alternate universe, he ate me in the womb. In Soviet, my alternate universe, womb eat you. I'm under a bucket. Hey, 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 hey
carbon life forms, let's throw football! That was totally what so was me really amazing! That'll be $500 from everyone. Good night! <laughs> Why they go on vacation without Cliff? You know, of all the basements I've ever been chained up in, this one has by far the most meth labs. I'm okay. It's Kill Busby's Talentatious Cavalcade with your host. Kill Bosby. Hello, every people, and welcome to episode two of my special series, Kill Bosby's Cavalcade of Freakdom, or whatever the fuck this is called. This next act, I, I don't know even how we got him. He's so fucking good. Please welcome Murgatroyd McMainer Perry. <laughs> Hello. Contrary to popular belief, I am not Maynard G. McMain or whatever. Uh, my name is Goofy Looking. And I'm Goofy Looking. Oh! 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 All the entertainers in the world suck. They should all listen to me. White power! Okay, I don't know how that doofus magoofus bribed his way on this show. But, uh, it doesn't matter, because it's time for a word from our sponsor. Ow! Ow! Thank you and good night! <laughs> Damn it, Vanessa, you think you can ignore me just because you turned into a skeleton? It's Kill Busby's Talentatious Cavalcade with your host, Kill Busby. Okay, we're gonna try this experiment one more time with these freaks before I give up entirely until I feel like trying it again. This next guy had better be good and he will be good and I know he's good because I am wearing my lucky hat. So please welcome Viridlian Abadabubu. <laughs> Hello, I am Viridlian Abadabubu and today my talent is I will recite all 500 numbers in existence while juggling my own hands. Six, five, arc, low, bang, two, ah, me, two, woo, blah, whoa, shit, woo, bang, seventeen, wall, woo. Okay, I have no fucking idea where we find these people anymore. Hey, let's Purple. go! It's I am the lucky captain. I approve of none of this. And when I arrive at my destination, I am gonna kill Busby. Salutations, confused relics of the proletariat. T-shirts are available now for purchase under the parking lot. Now, I would like to speak for you with the moment about outtakes. Bing, 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 bing. An outtake is basically a mistake, just like all my kids. That's why whenever I bury my kids in the backyard, 600 years later, the forces of erosion turn them into blooper reels. Like this one, discovered on a Betamax tape, clutched tightly in the disembodied hand of a garbage man in the garbage can at Disneyland. So I opened the crate from Florger that's supposed to contain the breakdancing elephant. Wouldn't you know it, the damn thing's dead. So from then on, every time a child really misbehaves, I insert his or her body inside the dead elephant's rectum and leave him there for a week. When I tried it with Rudy, the elephant magically came back to life. So we all accepted Rudy as our lord and savior, while Vanessa videotaped Theo doing the worm with a tapeworm for 22 years. I crossed over into ancient Nazareth, I had but a crust of fish and a pile of bread, not nearly enough to feed little old man me, so I miraculously declared, hey, let's eat the women folk. <laughs> that was the invention of cannibalism, later co-opted by the great white shark, and once Spielberg pays me the royalties, I can finally be king and have my own amusement park to enhance my life. 
So when Jesse and the Ripper sued me for child support, I stood before the Supreme Court a hollering, Look here, you castrated jackalope! Ain't nothing in the NFL rulebook says a kangaroo can't be time cop! So they validated my parking, and as I stepped outside, suddenly my head detached from my body and flew away! The rest of me dissolved into a pile of rats while my flying head laughed its neck off! I made a $200 a week paycheck playing absolutely everyone in the Lone Ranger. I put a birdie on my head to play Tonto, I cut scars on my face to play Butch Cavendish, and I dressed up as a woman to play the horse. To prepare for these roles, I went back and told me that in this Moses of no hot dog, Moses was fucking his face in the mud. And I said, Moses, what about a claim after Stanley Tucci? Is he a hot dog? Yes, everyone's a hot dog. Of course, boom, 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 boom. Now, wait a minute for a second. I said, Moses, first lady Michelle Obama, surely she's not a hot dog. Yes, everyone's a hot dog. Have you ever tried fucking your face in the mud? What about Luciano Pavarotti, the famous tenor? Ain't no reason. I He's a hot dog fucking the face in the mud. We're both a hot dog. We're both fucking our own faces boom, and each boom, other's faces boom. in the mud. Wanna make out? No, our love is forbidden. You're the Duke of Wellington and I am but a humble runaway child laborer and the safe word is Hail Hydra. Let's do this. <laughs> When I finally removed the algae bra that was stifling Ariel's areolas, our delicious mermaid lovin' was rudely interrupted by the sinking corpse of Natalie Wood. Four different- Shut up! You didn't know her! Four different clones of myself somersaulted out on the penis during our freaky three-way on Freaky Friday, and I switched bodies with the dead chick and learned all the secrets of the afterlife. And to this day, this show always cuts to a stupid dance montage whenever I try to explain that 9-11 was really committed by And we danced all night to the best song ever And I smacked up myself thinking I was clever And I went this shower I went this shower I went this shower I went this shower I recognize the previous Latin incantation correctly. I have only 20 seconds before Satan transmogrifies me into a fat ass bearded honky and teleports me to regions unknown. Farewell, puny rat brained man animals. See y'all at the It's a Small World movie premiere and a seven, six, five, four. Scene we shot for Ghost Dad in Sweden where we met all the real Ghost Dad and the Ghost Dad Society of Ghost Dads. Does anyone have any questions about the movie? I will ask a question for myself. What, what do you have any advice for other kill Bosbys of yourself? Why, well, yes, I do. You should definitely run yourself into the wall many fucking times. That's humanly possible. And you should look down your nose at all the lesser creatures like yourself. Now, <laughs> are there any other questions for Mr. Kilbosby? Why'd you pull a Michael Jackson and bleach your face? Very good question! Invisible person behind the wall. <laughs> motherfucker and you chop him up until he forms the shape of a baby. <laughs> chop away every he's like a sculpture, you just chop away everything that's not the baby and then you incubate him in the toilet by flushing it for six weeks. Why is nobody asking me questions about my illustrious career? Why? Mikey Insanity, you've just kidnapped Kill Bosby. What are you gonna do next? You're the worst prostitute I've ever been kidnapped by. We just got here and there's already a thing in our closet. Ah! Again, you people, you stupid rapper pants! And that won the Oscar for Best Love Scene. You shut the fuck up! I have a question. No, you don't! Dead bodies, I don't... Don't fucking like dead bodies. They're just... So dead. Hoobaloo Who said that? Ah, oh, you know who it is, you big dumb son of a butterscotch animal. Did I ever tell you about the time I parachuted into Legoland on fire because fuck you? No. No. No, you're not real. I'm as real as Ghost Dad 4, Ghost Dinosaur, no. goes to a whore in Kuala Lumpur, directed by Al Gore. No. My head. Boy, I ain't going nowhere.
bear. Bear me in the ground all you want, I'll never die. It's just like when I opened an abortion clinic at the Taco Bell and I recycled the inventory. No! That's not funny! That's just sick! Alright, I guess it's a little funny, but it's mostly sick! I once filled an entire jar up with elephant urine and fed it to my son Rudy as lemonade. No! I, you're not even original! I, I mostly ripped you off from John Daly's Bill Cosby Bukowski routine! And I'm pretty sure he ripped you off from Eddie Murphy! You're an impression of an impression of an impression of an impression! Puts me in the mind of hilarious joke I once heard. The Holocaust! The end! Get out of my head! If I leave, you won't have no one to talk to no more! You're lying! They're only your friends because of me! You created me and I'm all they ever wanted from Leave you. me alone! Get out of my head! Leave me alone! <laughs> or the time when- Excuse me, do you know where they're holding Dementor auditions? Uh, lower lot, I think. Thanks. No problem. Or the time when- Spaz? Yeah? Are you a ghost? Yeah. When the hell did you die? Well, there's some debate about that, actually. Authorities are still investigating. You had eaten by Figment, didn't you? He was hungry! You don't know him like I do! D Shut up! Actually, the prevailing theory is that it was a second dragon on the grassy knoll who ate him backwards through the gassy hole. Even in death you can't get rid of conspiracy guy? That's just an illusion perpetrated by the World Bank to stop John F. Kennedy from having sex with the moon. I believe I can clear all this up! Oh, dear God! No, no, just... Look, Kill Bosby, may, may I call you Kill? Who's Kill? My name is Ghost Dad, and I'm your friend the neighborhood Ghost Dad! Dad? Look, I know you've served me well in my outtake specials and that movie that'll never come out, but, um... Well... What? Cosby impressions are no longer funny. Well, that is a fiction of the literal media. They are always blaming me for the actions of my evil twin. Look, we'll never get rid of them. They've both been following me since Limbo. How low can you go? I didn't even know my dad was sick. All right. Against my better judgment, you can all help me review this ride. But can you at least try to keep it PG rated? The nicest thing about fucking a goldfish is it's always wet. I envy the dead. The reason Eisner didn't give the job to Katzenberg was because he was saving it for the ghost of Frank Wells. Well, I personally threw Frank down those wells and he met all my kids and started his own sitcom. So Rudy was the chick from The Ring? No, 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 no. Dead hookers can only hold public office in Canada. But Mitch McConnell's been dead for three years. There's no such thing as years. My yes, they do. Do you ever get tired of being the straight man? Are you coming on to me? Question everyone but me! He seems fun, can we keep him? So yeah, the plot of this ride is Fiona gets kidnapped and needs to be rescued. Again. No, oh, she's just damseling for dollars. She probably faked her kidnapping to interrupt her honeymoon on purpose. Yeah, I've done that. I mean, I could be wrong, but she has ovaries and I don't, so I doubt it. Conga, you're a class 5 full roaming vapor and she's a collection of ones and zeros. And those zeros are shaped like vaginas. When will the women folk learn to quit blibbity blabbling to the press about their own kidnappings? I mean, in my day, I... It was 20 years ago today! A Sergeant Pepper taught the band to play! And now back to dad puns, the ride! Ghost dad puns! Shut up. NEVER! Don't tell me you're afraid of ghosts. Well, I am a little afraid of ghost movies from 2003 that star Eddie Murphy and involve theme parks somehow. Racist. Rapist. Filth, Lauren, filth! If we resort to that level of reference, we're no better than this movie! This movie's giving me nothing to work with! Yeah, you know, it reminds me a lot of that theatrical production based on the dictionary. It's a play on words. Blah! Ghost Dad! Ah! <laughs> Blah! A ghost! Ah! Ghostbusters, what do you want? Help us! We're being attacked by spooky ghosts in their hideous wordplay! Oh, please. 
Ghostbusters, what do you want? Yes, I'll be performing at a gas station in West Virginia, and I'll definitely be hilarity. Want to meet up afterwards for a drinky drink? <laughs> The beast is dead! Yes! He was my girl! He ate you! Mine was delicious! You guys suck! Ghost of the living you have no imagination and hit you in the boner. Wait, wouldn't that make him a ghost? Spaz has gone bye-bye. Ghost Dad, what do you got left? You know, it's at times like this when I become terrified beyond the capacity for irrational thought that I reflect on how important it is to live every day as if it's the purge. I thought the fun facts were supposed to be fun. Go fuck yourself. Okay. Who's the evil one? We do not speak his name. They say the evil one is deformed. No one's ever seen his face. No one even knows if he has a face. But you will know him by the bone-chilling sound of his approach. Look! Ooh. It's the evil one! Oh! Yeah! We are currently closed for rebooting. If you'd like a frustrating compromise, press Ghostbusters 2. If you'd like an interminable mirage, press Ghostbusters 3. If you'd like an Asgardian receptionist, please stay on the line. If you're wondering why we didn't get to explain to Hey, Michael J. Fox is looking for a new batch of Frighteners. Want to try out? Hell yes, yes absolutely. Sounds fun, I'm down. Okay, I'm going to go read some jokes. <laughs> Am I not the stinker? Oh my god. We're gonna die here. And we can't do Jack! Okay, that was weird. Did the universe just scream out in pain? Is everyone still here? Well, there you are, and here I am. It's... It smells cinema. It's... In pain? Wait, I read something about this in the book of Mouse Cinema. Here it is under the ultimate evil spirit. It says that there is only one force in the universe greater than Mouse Cinema. A cinematic entity of such recognized awfulness that even Mouse Cinema can't accept its existence. So what is it? The name's been removed. It says even to speak its name is to invite it. Oh, that would've got that does us. Oh, oh, hang on. There's a reference here. Apparently there's a picture. This has got to be a joke, right? Well, that's convenient. Well, what is it? It's you. What? That's impossible. I can't be an ultimate evil spirit. I just gave an inspirational speech that inspired people. Evildoers don't do that! There is no way that this is right. I always help out in traffic by honking. I always brush my teeth when I feel like it. I always withhold spare change from homeless people to teach them a lesson. Are you sure? Look at it, it's him. Horseshit! I was born, I grew an opinion, I gained internet access, I did literally everything I was supposed to do. I am a hero! Uh, sure. In fact, I'm like a tragic Shakespearean hero. Like Hamlet, when he had to avenge his ghost dad. <laughs> oh my god. I get it now. Jerk, say jello pudding. What? Just do it. Jello pudding. Spaz Master, you are a genius! Say Theo. Theo. <sighs> now it really hurts, you know. I know what it is. Oh, God damn it! then tell the rest of us. It's Kill Bosby. Picture pages. <laughs> Oompa Zuba. <laughs> Leonard part six. <laughs> 
30! Oh, Johnny Cash! That oh. was 20 years ago today! Edith is a girl's name! And my mother had thrown the snowball away. One more! He got the recipe on the box! Jigglers! Oh. It's impossible! No, I'll tell you what's impossible. When Mushmouth switched brains with Cockroach and swallowed the entire cast of the Electric Company alive! Then they pooped out the entire cast of the Bosnian Mysteries alive, and they Stop it. the World Trade Center and blow it up that way! So no that out the moment that I wanted to make was actually Stop six it. and a half years in length, and that's so Raven played the baby! Then that baby had babies, and I Stop it, you're killing us! full of new coke to make it extra yummy! That is how I invented Western civilization! Six months later, I invented Eastern civilization, then traveled back in time to give it to Doc Brown, because he wanted one for his own. Now, Wally's weakened! All right, you heard the man. It's critic time! Big critic! Television critic! Children's Entertainment Critic! Animation Critic! Right? Bad Horror Critic! Good Horror Critic! Eh, uh, whatever. And I'll pour the head! Do you ever get tired of being the straight man? Yes, they do! They are on the sides of my thighs and I use them to intercept NPR's subliminal station. I went to see Transformers and the robots weren't even real. They offered to give me my monies back, but instead of burned down the theater. I was the one who wrote the songs that make the whole world sing. My code name among the Badger people was Sex Flute Gorilla Boobs. When you get right down to it, 1,000 Slim Jims is just bullshit. Popeye the Sailor Man has been my mortal enemy ever since he refused to blow me down. I can't be held responsible for every time I post someone's address on the interweb. Seven days! All I want is love! <laughs> I mean, in my day, I would kidnap 600 women a day. Holy that was my day. But that was only on that one day that was my day, you, you see. You can talk? <laughs> <laughs> you know what my secret is? I'm always Bosby! Someone's angry. My new batch of episodes, which should premiere sometime in 2015. Wow, oh, someone really doesn't like me. You bunch of bastards! I'll kill you! I'll kill all of you! All of you are gonna die in my hands! I'm gonna end all your lives tonight! I will murder every single one of you motherfuckers! This is me. I think it's apparently obvious that I am crushing it and living the dream. You're probably wondering how I got into such a predicament of being so awesome. Well, it all started in the year of our Lord 2015 at one of my many high-paying speaking gigs. Folks, y'all know me. I've been a comedy and television fixture for generations. You've all spent decades guffawing at my silly shenanigans and holier-than-thou moralizing. I've hosted outtake specials. They got a bust in my head in Disney World. And I host my own Emmy Award-eligible reality to show women allege the darndest things. But folks, I come before you tonight not as a celebrity, not as a dying legend, not even as a concerned citizen. I come here before you tonight for attention. Because due to brain damage, children today do not pay me enough of it. Now, I could just die, and my name would trend on the Twitter quitters, but that won't quite staple all of your eyeballs to my face permanently. So instead, objects and gentlemen, I kill Bosby, hereby announce that I am running for President of the United States! <laughs> I 
can fix America's problems, only I can fix America's problems, and I will make America my bitch! I mean, just look around at how stupid this stupid fucking country is, you know? There's too many people everywhere, not nearly enough of them pay attention to me, people are coming over the border pretending to be Mexican, some of whom I assume are good rapists, and on every street corner you got these hobo fuckers begging for Blu-rays! <sighs> Here. <laughs> Make sure you emphasize more. I just don't want an abortion. My body, my choice. The woman running for president believes in my body, my choice. If it were up to her, every woman would have complete reproductive rights. But that's reproductive wrong, and it's not the America I know. We can't afford to take our freedoms away from small government. So, if elected president, I promise to make all abortions mandatory! <laughs> Let's face it, compadres, there's too many fucking people in the universe, and if we want to make America my bitch, these whippersnappers in particular ought to be crammed back up their mothers so I can use my Dr. Huxtable skills to miscarry them all over again. Instead of getting pregnant, why not have a baby in the kitchen? That's extra delicious! Are you tired of luring children out to the woods for their grizzly murders? Well, that's why I founded the Kill Bosby Post-Birth Abortion Slaughterhouse slash Arby's! <laughs> Kill Bosby, and I apply loop to this massage. Paid for by someone for some reason. Duh, my daddy was the president, then my brother was the president. Now I want to be the president. It's my turn. I called it. The elephants were used to store grain for the ancient Mesopotamians. I learned this when I crafted my own brain into a makeshift switchblade and stabbed my way out of an elephant. Well, I've been smoking crack cocaine for 87 years. Oh, don't you mean 87? Freers? I woke up in the morning with potato salad next to my balls. Do you understand me? Then you take the most docile chicken in the entire coop and you inject fire ants into his bloodstream. Then you pick him up by the legs and bash him against the ball as hard as you can while laughing maniacally. Huh? <laughs> so I says to my mother, I says to her, look at the dump. Look at the dump I took, mother. Look at the dump I took in the oatmeal. Aren't you proud of me? Oh, don't you mean Aren't you proud of Blee? Do you think I'm nice? I like it when people think I'm nice. It means I don't have to murderize them. Obama is a Mac Daddy. Obama pimps white women and black women. That's where you first saw his name. That's the first place I saw it on two great big old tits. Aren't you <laughs> finally <laughs> proud of me? <laughs> he pimps white women and black women. Next to my balls. <laughs> and I've been stabbing <laughs> stabbing around <laughs> like a minute. Look at me. Now I'm going to Shut up. Now it has come to my attention that you all are the sorriest bunch of weasel-faced degenerates I ever done seen! Seriously, people, look how much they all suck. You got these guys over here going aggle, 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 and then these guys over here going da, 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 and then they'll switch it up and this side will go aggle, 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 to which this side rebuts da, 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 da. And that's why you're all gonna vote for me, none of these other fuckers are me, and all the rest of y'all can make me a dick and suck my sandwich. <laughs> Mrs. Bosby, would you be so kind as to call my campaign team in here? Get the stupid hats and my formal sweater. Whoop. I suppose you're all wondering why I gathered you here tonight. Someone in this room has been murdered. <laughs> Oh, my damn wiener kids, what gullible rubes have we flim flammed today? Dad, have you seen this recent clip that someone unearthed? So I took my favorite piece of furniture to the Tic Tac store to go woman shopping, and I grabbed it by the pudding. You don't even have to ask when you're a ghost dad to let you do it. Ah, oh, calm down, it's locker room talk. This is a bus. Would you care to explain yourself? Well, you know, Roman Polanski and I have been wanting to work together for a while, and fortunately our schedule's aligned. Dad, why are you taking a shit in the fireplace? Fake Jews! <laughs>
I am the only one worth the voting, and I have convinced you of this. But don't take your word for it, just ask the animated propaganda drawn by the Venezuelan human traffickies in my basement. Yeah, 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 America. It's morbidly obese Maurice. Yeah, 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 gonna vote for Bosby. Yeah, yeah. Kill your mom if she don't vote for Bosby. Kill your mom. No more Jews, we're gonna vote for Bosby. Hate them Jews. You know who falls for brightly colored doodly bops like that? Stupid babies like this one. He's the man. I'm voting for him. Everybody I know is voting for him. Yes, waiter, I would like all these children stuffed inside of each other and roasted in a sauce of dead kittens. People are rallying around what he's standing for, and what he's standing for are those good, solid values. Dance for my amusement, you tasty morsel. Dance louder! Human beings are made out of people! He is not afraid to say what we're all thinking. I have used cruelty to turn this child into a clown while I pour this jizz into a bowl of shit! He speaks from his heart. I like that. Does your wifey wife ever nag you to eat a salad when what you'd really like is to murder everyone? Try the new Geno salad, only a Taco Bell. Finally, we get someone that's not a politician. I am also a child pornographer and I'm dragging you down to hell with me, Jimmy Fallon! I love what his policies are for Benjamin, but John, there's nothing that he doesn't you see, the secret is to only molest all the ugly kids, because no one gives a shit about them. He is just awesome. And I think that he has just great values. Bambi's mother had great tips. I'd like to take this opportunity to congratulate myself for getting the fewest votes and therefore winning. My cabinet will include such tremendous forces of personality as Roy Moore, Brett Kavanaugh, Jim Jordan, Dennis Hastert, Bill O'Reilly, Harvey Weinstein, Kevin Spacey, Matt Lauer, Charlie Rose, Brett Ratner, Louis C.K., John Lasseter, John Chris Falusi, Vic Mig... Mig... Miganga? Mig... Min... Minga... Min... Minganonga, Minganga, fuck it, he's fired again. Brian Singer, Jeffrey Epstein, the corpse of Roger Rails, Steve Bannon, and Mike Michaud. They're all in my cabinet, and I'm not letting them out. <laughs> Breaking news! The Kill Bosby animatronic at Walt Disney World's Hall of Presidents has gained sentience! Stupidy zoo and the jellos of bluey blue. Thanks to all my Paterian Patronuses, especially Mark Aquino, Sandance Bikini, Bannett Billard, Chud Blankenshipe, Rianne Enos, Nofiine, Wisely Foxox, Daniel Gorsaya, Mikhail Hamalton, Joe Cab Harice, Dallas Hosley, Daigo the Camera, Hunana Martini, London McCaff, Kitlin Quine, Crass Reno, Dying Roseanfield, Ami Scoot, Tofat, Brett Traheel, and Elvira. Extra huge special thanks to Demi Lick. Super extra huge special thanks to Kith Beggs, super duper extra huge special thanks to Rain Waterston, and mega super duper extra huge special thanks to executive produce Joe Goldenstein and Edgar Brucio. If I mispronounced anyone's name, please send me a message letting me stay at your house for a month. Remember to lick, shame, and subsidize, and spanks for Watchmen. God damn you, th